This is a review of the Sherlock Digital TV Signal Finder from King Controls. Now this thing is actually designed to be used, if you look on the back here, uh, it will give you the instructions. It's actually designed to be used uh, to help to peak your antenna signal by tuning your antenna uh, to a different direction. However, this is basically just a signal strength meter so we can use it for troubleshooting as well and what we're going to do is um, use this thing to troubleshoot uh, the various points along our uh, coax path to see if we can find out uh, where we're having problems so i'm going to open this up and then uh, we'll get uh, to testing well the sherlock signal strength meter comes with the meter itself um, some 3m velcro battery and a little jumper cable so it gives you everything you need to get started. There's basically just the controls here. There's an off on control, which kind of is counterintuitive. You turn it down to turn it on. And then the signal strength, also a little bit counterintuitive, reads from low to high, which, you know, doesn't uh, make a difference on how well it works. It's just a little bit odd. And there's also a spot for an external uh, power connector. If you want to permanently uh, mount this in your system so that you can uh, always watch how much signal you're going to get from the antenna and then here's an adjustment that you can use to adjust the gain um, of the unit not the gain of the signal the sensitivity I guess I should say this adjustment will adjust the sensitivity of the unit so that you can always get two or three LEDs uh, on here so Really, the way you ought to work on this is you ought to adjust this until you get maybe half scale, and then you can always tell if you're making an improvement or not. In other words, if you have this adjusted too low, you could be making improvements and still not see it. Or if it's adjusted too high, where all four of them are on, you could get a lower signal and not know it. So always try to turn this adjustment so this is somewhere in between the four LEDs here. So we're going to hook it up uh, as a diagnostic tool and see if we have any kind of an output on our antenna. To use a signal strength meter as a diagnostic tool, basically you're going to want to connect it to every one of the ports on things like your distribution box, as well as on uh, the far end of each coax, what I mean by far end, like the end that's at the TV. And then what you're going to want to do is adjust the uh, gain as I'm showing here, so that you get uh, some reading uh, on the uh, box itself, on the signal strength meter itself. And then what you're looking for as you go through each device uh, is any loss in that signal. And if you have a loss, that's where the problem is, basically. Now, one of the things you probably won't be able to test is the coax that comes from the antenna to the uh, control box, in some cases, or the antenna to the power supply in other cases. In RVs, most of these antennas are powered by DC power, and, that, and the, those video switch boxes are capable of supplying that 12 volt power, as well as um, if you have a different model of switch box, there may be a power supply uh, in line somewhere. So you're going to have to find out where that is, if that does exist, and if it does, you probably won't be able to measure uh, the first piece of coax from the antenna. Uh, to the power supply but other than that one uh, you should be able to go through step by step and check each point along the way for signal strength now if you want to connect this permanently what you would do is this side would go to the antenna this side would go to the tv and as you as you tell i only was using the antenna lead when we were testing which is fine but if you uh, want this permanently in line then put this between the antenna and the tv and you can put it you're going to have to put it behind this switch, this particular one, because this switch gives you the 12 volt power um, to the antenna. If you have another style switch or another style antenna that has power coming from somewhere else, then you could put this on the front end of the switch. So it just depends on how your setup is as to uh, where you have to put it. And you can see I only have one uh, setting on the signal strength, which probably isn't very good. Now if I take the antenna and start turning it, you can see now I've got two, and now it's back to one. So if I go back to where it was two, this probably would be the maximum um, that the antenna uh, can receive. Now most antennas are somewhat um, 
bidirectional, which means that they can receive signals off the front side and off the back side. One side usually is a little better than the other. So uh, we're going to turn this basically 180 degrees and see if the signal gets stronger. Okay, we got a two on here again, now we're back to one. So in reality, it doesn't make really a difference if I have the antenna tuned uh, towards the receive signal or away from it, uh, as long as it's basically in a perpendicular uh, pane, then it's working okay. So that's a pretty nice little device for around 30 bucks. Allows you to troubleshoot your antenna system from a RF signal strength perspective, and also you can use it to tune your antenna in for the maximum signal. So. For 30 bucks, it's probably a good asset, especially today with digital signals and you're going different places, you don't know exactly where all the antennas are.